Okay guys, the first thing that we're going to go over is this right here. It is the Nutcracker. It's one of the brush sets. This retails for $35. It opens up like this. And then it has three brushes in it. Let's check them out. The first one is the 157 SE. It's more like a blush or face brush. The next one is the 266 SE. It's just a liner brush. The next is the most popular 217 SE. Which the reason that all these have the SE after them is just where that they're seasonal. That's what the SE means. It's just a regular 217 brush. So this set, like I said, retails for $35. You get three brushes and you get the little container that it comes in. Now, these are the white bristle brushes. This was okay. Um, I don't know. I guess that there's, I have other brushes that works just as good as this one does. And this one and, oh, I dropped my 217. And the 217, even though the 217 is a brush that everyone loves, everyone wants, this one, I just wasn't, I don't know, that impressed with. I don't know if it's where it's the shorter version and I just didn't have the precision or the control, but for $35, this set is pretty nice, but... If I had to go back and repurchase it, I don't know if I would do it. It's such a hard decision. But if you are someone who loves the 217 period, then this right here is an awesome deal because for $35 you get the 217, the eye brush, and the blusher brush, which is, like I said, the 167. So if you really need a new 217, I think that would be an awesome set to go ahead and get for yourself. Next up, let's stay with the brushes while we're on this one. The next brush set that I got from the Mac Nutcracker Collection come in a zip bag like this. And it retails for $52.50. It comes with, let's see here, the first brush is the 188 and again they all say se at the end which is a dual fiber brush then this one is the 286 and the 283 that is the 286 and the other end see it's just got bristles on both ends so when you flip it around this end is the 283 and we have next the 287 now all these are dual fiber too I don't know if I said that and last is the 159 SE This was a nice set. I do like this brush a lot. When I looked up reviews on this to see what that I could find out about it, I really, anyone that I could find with this was a couple of years old. But the ones that I did find to see what people were using it for, lots of people said when they went to MAC that MAC put their foundation on with this, but I mean this brush is really small so if you do your foundation with that, it's going to take a minute. Not that it wouldn't be a nice brush for that, but I used it for my under eye concealer and it really did you know feather it out make it look really nice I kind of went like this with it patted it and then I kind of went in and buffed it afterwards because I also used the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer that's what I personally use that one for this one I've seen a lot of people which was this one the 286 I've seen a lot of people say that they liked it for you know, putting on their under eye powder. 
to sweep it away. I personally use both of them as an eye brush and the girl at MAC, that's what she recommended it for too. And the next one, the 287, it was also used as more of an under eye concealer or spot concealer because it's more flat bristled. And then the last one, it could, it's, it could be used more as a blush brusher, but it's more flat too. So it would be more nice to me to bronze up the face or lay highlighter on. So this was a nice set. I did enjoy it for the 5250. It's pretty nice. I don't have too many complaints on that one. Up next we have the highlighter and blush combo. This highlighter is Whisper of Guilt and the blush is Pleasure Model. This is the set that everyone in the world has tried to duplicate for years. They loved. Whisper of Guilt has been one of the most sought after highlights ever. And it is a golden highlight and the blush is a darker blush. Let's see here. I will switch it for you. See if you guys can see that. There's the highlight and there is the blush. The next highlight blush combo that I have is in the color 22 and at dusk. This one is more of a pinky champagne-y color. There's the highlight and there's the blush. I will try to swatch this one for you too. I'm pretty pale skinned so a lot does not show up on me. Let's see if I can get more of the blush on there. Let's see if we can see this one guys. Here is the blush. And there is the highlight. Now, this blush and highlight combo I also really enjoyed. But, if you're a fair skin girl like myself, this blush does take some building up. It's really light, so it's going to take a few tries to get it to really show up on the fair skin girls. Now, the darker skin girls, it's probably going to look bomb on you. It's just going to be banging, baby, because it's going to be gorgeous. So, each one of these, where, let's see, how much were these? 52, no, wait. That's the blush shit. I don't know what I'm talking about. Both of these were $35. I've got my little prices up here so I can look at them all. So, I was reading the price up above, the 5250, which was the brush set. The highlighters were $35. What was I thinking? The next thing that I have is the eye palette, which is $39.50. I can see that pretty clearly. So, this one is $39.50. It looks like this. And there is different ones. The one that I got is the Eyeshadow Smoky Eye Compact. It says it has nine shadows in it. Looks like this. And it comes with a brush. The brush on this is the 213 and the 214. Here's the 213. And here's the 214. A nice little smudger brush there. Okay, now with this palette, let me tell you what I did. I went in MAC and I bought all that stuff because my MAC and my Sephora is together and I'm, are in the same mall, I should say, and I'm getting ready to go into more detail with that. But I went to Sephora first, I went to MAC, I bought all that stuff, and I swatched. I'm going to put my cap body over this. I swatched this color right here, and I put it on my hand. I went and had my nails done the whole time. I was like, man, I like that color. I really enjoy that color. So I ended up going back and saying, okay, okay, I'm going to buy the palette. So I got the palette, and let me tell you about each color in it. This grayish color right here is good. The black is not very pigmented at all. There's two shimmery shades, which are these two right here. And you just don't, the white is very nice. This one right here, it's just really hard to get some pigmentation from it. 
both of these it's hard to get a lot of color payoff um they're more transition colors but it takes a lot of them to get some really nice color to your eyes um it's a nice palette but i don't think that it's worth the 39.50 but that day, like I was saying, I also went to Sephora and I bought the Kat Von D Shade and Light. Now the reason that I want to show these two together really quick is, okay, once that I started checking on my out, I was like, hmm, and got the two and was looking at them both. And there is, if you already have the Shade and Light palette, I don't think you really need this one because there's so many comparable colors such as this one and this one are almost identical then this one that I really enjoyed and this one are pretty much identical oh uh, let's see which other ones were they oh that one and that one there's like four different ones if you already have the shade and light you don't need this eye palette just because, I mean, there is, the colors are a little bit different, but if that you build them up or don't build them up as much, you're going to have the same look. So, if you do not have that eye color, you do not have any shadows like this whatsoever, it might be worth it to go ahead and purchase this one. But if you have a lot of palettes with a lot of the similar colors, I wouldn't even bother. So, I got four different things out of the MAC Nutcracker collection. And the highlighter and blush combos were by far my favorite. The next one would have probably been the big eye palette. I enjoyed it. The other two I could have did without. Hit or miss, I'd have been okay without them. But, that's what that I think on the new MAC Nutcracker collection on the items that I did have. But, before I let you guys go, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to post two videos a week until Christmas and then I'm going to go to once a week, but might not happen. I have my husband's birthday, Thanksgiving, my son's birthday, and Christmas coming up, so I'm not going to promise. However, I will tell you guys that I will for sure promise once one video a week. And what I'm going to do as my gift to you guys is every week in each video, I'm going to do a surprise giveaway. So every week until Christmas, I will be giving something away. So in this video, what I'm going to be giving away is the Ulta bag. Doo, 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 doo. And in the Ulta bag comes a bag full of Ulta products. And I will open it up here and see what we got. There is an Ulta combo with 369 shadows, a blush, and a highlight. Sorry guys, there's so much light, you guys can't really see it. But there's some really pretty colors in there. Uh, an Ulta Plush Drama Mascara. Let's see here, yeah, I'm trying to go through this quickly. An Ulta Mineral Powder. Powder. Ulta double-ended eyeliner pen <laughs> and Ulta lipstick in the color Mulberry. Uh, Ulta lip gloss, mineral lip gloss and sheer opal. Then we have, let's see here, two Ulta brushes. And one Ulta Clear Brow Gel. So that is this week's giveaway. What I want you to do for the giveaway is down below just comment what that your favorite holiday gift set that you've seen is. And what I'm going to do is each giveaway it will run for a week. So on the next video i will announce this week's winner and then the next week i will announce the week after the winner so just down below if you guys like this video and like me giving away something every week until christmas let's give it a thumbs up if you're not already subscribed and just down below just let me know what that your favorite gift set you've seen so far is i love you guys thank you so much for watching i'll see you next time bye